Good morning. Merry Christmas. It's Wednesday, December the 25th, and this is The Drill. Thank you. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today. I'm a Desert Storm era veteran with an associate's degree, a Christian, and a registered independent. My podcast is made available through Spreaker, and I can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. So, you think you're, that you're a conservative? Do you consider yourself an environmentalist? Do you think of yourself as a leader or a change agent? Do you believe in exceptions, middle ground, compromise? Then you are not a conservative. Today, impeachment, lefties are not your friend, and calamities. All that when I come back. Thank you. Welcome back. How do the Democrats plan to impeach the president without getting blood on their hands? Simple, by describing events so as to make impeachment seem like something that the president is doing to himself, or even something that is being done to the Democrats. For instance, the Democrats may tell you that President Trump brought this on himself. The key for conservatives is to counter those descriptions with reality. Be explicit, don't use metaphors. The president is not impeaching himself, the Democrats are impeaching the president. Remind the lefties in your life of what's real when they try to use euphemisms. Tell them the Democrats have impeached the president. When I come back, do calamities just happen? Thank you, thank you. Do events really happen without warning and spontaneously, or is it an agent or agency that creates events? The right answer to this question is obvious. And the right answer reveals your world outlook and whether you recognize that the universe is benevolent or pretend that it is malevolent. I heard a commercial for insurance that said that calamities just happen and happen without warning. What's the difference? The malevolent universe premise, life sucks and then you die, is false and leads one to believe that the successful succeed because they got lucky, cheated, or a combination of the two. Up next, stay away from lefties. Thank you very much. Stay away from lefties, and by that I mean they're not your friends. They uh, will act like your friend in order to seduce you. Ayn Rand was right when she said that a person cannot be friends with someone who is diametrically opposed to everything they stand for. Lefties want to be your friend in order to subvert you and your thinking. They want to bully and intimidate you. You can be friendly to a lefty, but you can't be friends. Back in a minute. In conclusion, the president didn't impeach himself. Calamities don't just happen, they are made to happen, and the left is not your friend. Who is the true conservative? He's the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He is not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He is open-minded, asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that brings me to the conclusion of another episode of The Drill. 
Remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. Think about it.